Hello YouTube and welcome back to the shop. I got something a little special for you today. An unusual modification for an unusual milling machine. This is a Benchmaster MV1 with a DRO. Let me show you how it works. So what I did is I negated the use of my front T-slot. I basically just used spacers and a fancy little plate. From this angle you can see the brass spacers I machined. I also made a little brass slide that goes in there. It has two Allen screws that set into the back of the T-slot. Traveling above the dovetail, locked onto the knee, is this plate. The plate is held off by two spacers, one on each side. This plate I machined holes into it so I could still adjust the gibs, which are here, 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 and here. Understandably, the central lock bolt uh, is no longer in operation because the follower on the glass scale is in its way. What I did to compensate for this lack of a lock is I took a sewing machine arm, machined it out so I could put an Allen screw, which is quarter 20, threaded into the old Gibbs screw hole so I can turn this and that locks the x-axis just fine. So before installing this table lock, I did some tests. I found that if I tighten this Gibb just ever so slightly, that when I put a dial indicator on here, I only move about a half thousandth, which is fine over the entire length of the table. The y-axis was about as simple as it gets. Angle bracket with a slot and two Allen screws on brass washers. The other side of the glass scale is directly affixed to the knee. The DRO head unit itself is affixed quite simply with two Allen screws right into the side of the casting. And I shortened this to make it more maneuverable around the machine. I get full movement on the x-axis, almost full movement on the y-axis. Obviously our table, is a little, we don't have a little less travel because we got the hand wheel so the glass scales would run into it. I considered putting it on the back, but that would give me a lot less movement going in towards the body of the machine, which gives it more rigidity. If you have any questions on how this works, or if you'd like to do this yourself and you have questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. That's all for this video. Please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. That's all I got.